So today I'm going to show you uh, how to renew your OCI card or book. Uh, if you change the passport, like if you get a new passport, if you need to update your uh, passport number in OCI, or if you change the address, uh, if you are 50 and over, you need to, if you get a new passport, you need to update, renew the OCI card or book. So this, I'll just showing the process. I'll, since I'm applying, I'll walk you through. First, you need to go to ocservices.government.in. Here on the main page, since I already have, I'll just go to OCI, you need to go to OCI miscellaneous services. Just say, just make sure it's selected, so it should be orange, right? Then just say proceed, accept. Just make sure that you have read all the instructions and accept. You need to enter this code here you can start a new application if you already submitted if you still haven't uploaded um, the documents you can go here um, and to go here you need to enter the file number you have to enter the file number it uh, starts with USAA um, so since I'm applying let's go I'll click on file new miscellaneous application here you need to enter your old passport number. That's what uh, you have in your OCI book, right? Um, so enter that here, then your OCI number and your date of birth. Then you need to press on proceed. Then once you're here on this page, after you enter all your details, then you need to choose which one you're changing. If you're changing um, personal particulars, like address change, like chargeable, this is charge and there's no fee for this one, for updating the OCI. If there's any loss or damage, and um, this one, I'm, I got a new passport because the old one was expired. So I need to enter the request in the new OCI book with the new passport number, okay? Or if you want, like if you're doing only address, you can choose this. So I'm doing passport, so I'll select the passport, then say next. Here you need to enter all this information here. Let me show you one by one. So here you enter your new passport number, okay? Not the old one, the new one. So you need to enter the new passport number here, then the issue date, whichever state you're applied in, and the date, issue date, and issue date of the passport, the new passport, then father nationality, mother nationality, and your residential address, all this, and your mobile number, occupation, and tell the reason. You can say because of the new passport, you want to update the passport number in your OCI. Or if you're updating your address, you can say that. So once you enter all this, you need to submit. Once you submit, it will show you a temporary application ID and it will also show you your file number. Make sure you make you note them, you, you know, you save those numbers. Um, so that way, suppose those documents, you know, sometimes they're not like valid or you don't have the documents to upload. You can go back using that file number, which starts as USAA. So either you can enter temporary application ID or if it's as file number, you can enter one of those and uh, upload your documents. So let me enter all this and I'll show you the next screen. So father and mother nationality you have to say if they're in India, it's India, right? Not yours. So then a residential address of um, your address, right? So it says, please enter your present address. And once you submit, it will give you file number. Make sure you save that when you go to the next page. Once I click the submit, then this is the page you come to. 
So here you need to, it gives a temporary application ID and your file reference number. These two are important um, until uh, your application is uh, accepted. Just write down the date you applied and just, to, you know, save them. You can copy and paste these numbers. And then um, first is you need to submit um, your passport pictures, then your application signature. Then um, you have to make sure these are in this format. And the ratio should be like this. And you can um, upload your photo specification if you click on this. So you'll get this uh, information here. Sample photo. If you have any passport picture, you can take a picture of it and adjust the size maybe. That should be fine. So this is just any passport, you know, regular passport. So let's close this. And, oh. oh my God, where is it? It's gone. I shouldn't have closed it. Okay. See, now I closed it, right? So let's find it. I didn't upload my pictures. If you did any mistake like me, you can click on here again. Go back to this main page. And click on miscellaneous services. Or you can click on uh, OCI document upload. Let me try this one first, miscellaneous. Scroll down, say accept, and I have read it. Let's see if this one will work. That's why I told you like we need to write down the file number and the temporary application ID. So this, this has like, you know, case sensitive. If it's capital, it has to be in capital. If it's small letter, it has to be in small letters. So here I can click on this one here, partially completed. So I'll get my application ID here. And let's uh, 592A85. See, I got this one, right? So I still need to upload. That's the reference number party completed. Now let's uh, click on uh, to upload application for and signature, click on it. And mine I submitted somehow, it rejected my signature. So they declined my application. So I'm trying to uh, apply again. I just have to start fresh again. So I have to make sure this is in this format because the other documents were fine. So make sure those documents are in the right format before you upload. So let's say, yes, I'm ready with the image. This is where you can um, upload. So I had problem with this one. I need to check before I upload the format. And this one, you can choose file and your passport and it is, they have to be in JPEG. You can click on photo specifications and uh, make sure they're in the right format before you upload. So I'll show you once I upload what it says. And uh, once it uploads, you just have to complete and say submit. You'll get an email that um, application is uh, submitted. If they accept it, you'll get accept, but mine was rejected. So hopefully this time um, I'll get uh, my application gets accepted. Okay. Um, I'll show you when I go to the next page. A passport photo and the signature and they look fine and it says uh, in the green text that um, it matched the requirements that should it look good so i said submit and this is the page it shows next and here if you don't like your picture you can uh, click on uh, i want to upload again if you're not happy with your passport picture or anything now i'm happy with what i have here um i'll just say here i can say then i have uploaded successfully so let me click on this so I, if you're happy with your uh, passport picture and signature just click on i have uploaded successfully so just move the cursor and it changed now you click on it 
So now we get this page. Oh, then you need to upload the current passport here. The next is proceed to part B. Just don't press twice, you know. Just wait. Okay, let me press again. Okay, so in here, then you need to answer all these questions here. Once you're done, you got to present nationality details. Acquisition, select naturalization and all the, the date of naturalization, okay? And then you need to other details. All these you need to enter, then you need to submit, okay? I'll show you once uh, I go to the next page. You need to enter, this is like Indian, we're applying, right? OCI is for India. So if it's a, it's a dual citizenship, right? Country nationality. It says uh, whether holding dual nationality, if S, yes, click on S and um, select United States and enter your old passport number. Your new number is not updated yet, right? So you need to enter what was in your um, current OCI book. Nationality means that's uh, your Indian, right? So you select that as in India and uh, you don't, you can leave it blank if you don't have this number, it's fine. The renown, renunciate, renunciated passport number, you can leave it blank. I don't have it right now. I already submitted, so. Say I have relatives and you enter your mom or dad or whoever you have and their address. So once I entered all that, then I submitted, right? So I submitted all. Now I need to submit uh, the passport, the new passport. It says passport particular updation. So I need to update. Uh, the, this is the last step. Uh, I need to upload uh, my new passport. Click on it. Okay, then I need to current passport because that's the new one I got. Then just say upload. Current passport and uh, choose the file to upload. My new passport. Which it has to be in the PDF uh, file. Yeah, that's why you have to read the instructions, right? The maximum size of the file should not be more than 1000 KB. And uh, the file format should be PDF format. So mine was uh, 541 KB, so it's in PDF format, so it should be fine. Let's say upload. It is say upload. Upload. So it says, I don't know, upload has successfully completed. Okay, so I finished all of them. And it says, uh, there's a note, you need to read this, document re-upload limit is five, after which re-upload is not allowed. Document view limit is three, after which view document is not allowed. So, no, it looks like I'm, it says uploading of current passport for my name has successfully completed. So I'll just click on final submit. Your application bearing MHA file number for uploading document connection with this OCI number has been submitted successfully. So now I just click on, you can take a screenshot of this or you can, uh, you'll get an email also, but uh, always make sure you have a file number also written. Exit. Okay. So I hope it helps. Um, if it helps, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And uh, don't forget to click on uh, uh, notification button. That way you can get uh, notifications every time I upload new videos. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.